Hello, I'm Dave Downey with the Center for Food and Agricultural Business at Purdue University. I'd like to take a few minutes to tell you why I am excited about our National Conference on Agribusiness for 2017. Some of you are aware that every four or five years, the Center does a survey of farmers across the nation on their input and marketing decisions, their attitudes, their thoughts for purchasing on their farm. We've just completed our most recent research project where we interviewed over 1,400 farmers from 43 states in six major ag production segments, corn, soybeans, wheat and barley, cotton, beef, dairy, and specialty crops like fruits and vegetables. I'm really excited about the results and what it's revealing about farmers buying behavioral patterns. While we're going to summarize those findings at our national conference on November 7th and 8th, right here on the Purdue campus, let me give you a little preview of what we have planned. We start out with Yanni Drewberry, Chief of Supply Officer for Land of Lakes, who's going to share his thoughts on how we shape value propositions in agribusiness. Uh, this should set the stage nicely for some of our findings on how farmers are shaping purchasing preferences. I think this is particularly relevant to today's commercial producers who continue to grow and consolidate into larger and larger farm operations. What are their ongoing expansion plans? And how does that make a difference in their buying preferences? When you know where your customer is headed, it's far easier to design an approach to help him or her reach their goals. Then we're going to move into some fascinating information on how farmers view risk. Something that just started a few short years ago, not even discussed much in those days. But today, we're finding that farmers, especially larger commercial farmers, are keenly aware of a variety of risks and marketing risks, financial risks, production risks, human risks, and, and, and even legal risks. But more importantly, increasing their realization that if they work at it, there is a lot they can do to manage those risks. And this has impacts on their purchasing decisions big time. I think you will be most interested in what 1,400 farmers in all commodity segments are saying about risk and what it means to their business. Then we're going to dig deeper by inviting some very successful large commercial producers from Illinois, Indiana and Ohio to our platform to explore their own expansion plans, their thoughts about multi-generational business organization and how those issues affect their decisions in their operations. And we're going to explore their personal thoughts about risk and how they work to manage those risks and how that impacts their buying decisions and their relationships. Next, we're going to dig into producer sources of information. In this information data-hungry world that we live in, is print media dead, replaced by social and electronic communications? Do farmers still find field days and workshops a waste of their valuable time or something that's important to them? How do they prefer to stay current on trends in technology? We're fascinated to learn what has changed and what has not changed. I think this is a very important part of agribusiness suppliers as they shape their own communication strategy with their customers in the marketplace. We'll also hear how they do it in CED, one of the largest electrical distribution networks in the country with over 600 locations nationwide. Brad Selby of Consolidated Electrical Distributors will tell us about how they sell one customer at a time in a B2B environment, much like we sell in agriculture. We can learn a lot from this highly successful company through, that sells through service and reliability and integrity. And of course, then we're going to dig into my favorite topic. What are the most effective marketing strategies for selling to commercial producers? This has become a B2B marketplace where demand all the way through the supply chain from retail to customers drives the marketplace. How do you sell to farmers that are business minded who are flooded with data, metrics and analytical tools? How important are relationships 
And how has the meaning of the word relationships changed in the past few years? We've invited an impressive young farmer from north central Iowa who will spend his early years in two major ag input companies and then spent the last 10 years of his career growing the family farm. He has grown the family farm into a highly successful large operation. His dual perspective from the agribusiness community and then managing a large successful farm operation puts him in a unique position to share his thoughts of the farmer and of the future. Oh, and we also have asked Dr. Jay Ackridge, former Dean of Agriculture and now the Interim Provost of Purdue University, who has not lost his interest in agriculture or agribusinesses, to share with us how, see, how he sees this changing environment of the world that we live in today. I hope you can see why I'm so excited about this conference. It's the best ever large commercial producer research project that I recall we've ever done. And our national conference on agribusiness is really something special this year. So come join Dr. Mike Bolge and Dr. Mike Gunderson, Dr. Alan Gray and Dr. Scott Downey and Dr. Scott Nicole Widmar and Dr. Nathan Thompson and other faculty who see what you can take away that will impact your effectiveness in creating value for your own customers. Come and explore these many related issues. Network, work together with us, see what you can take away that's of value to you. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you on the Purdue campus on November 7 and 8.